hello, this is Kyren Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. <sighs> oh no. I mean, hey, do what you do. This wants to come out here. Angry person with uh, sexual protection here. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really wanting to stop this video here, but the cards out here says sex for sale online. Angry personality disorder and sexual protection here. Okay, so. I'm feeling like when somebody gets mad, they, you know, look for sex. That's the energy that I'm getting here. When somebody gets mad, they look for sex here. Okay, I was ready to stop the video. Like, look, I can't do this today. Sometimes that's just really how it be. You just can't do it today. It says defending yourself. Okay, so somebody needs to stand up against this person that like when they get mad and whoever I'm talking to, you know that this person does this. It's a personality disorder. They have so many faces here. So many different faces here. Okay. You know that this person does this or it's like this is how they retaliate or you notice know after like arguments or they spend time away, they come back like nothing happened. Like it says you need to stay on your ground. Like you need to be ready for battle basically. Like if something, if they, if they left and they come back, you need to be ready to end this because somebody here has sex when they get mad. Okay. Or they go and sell their sex when they get mad or they go... They go do something, okay? They go do something here. It says inconspicuous. It says slick bitch. I'm just saying, it says slick bitch here, okay? So somebody has a personality, a personality disorder. When they get angry, they go and cheat. They go and have sex with people. I mean, it's deeper than that, actually. It's just the anger is what triggers it. This person actually has um, an issue here materialistic maybe when you don't give them something they get mad like i mean when they get mad for anything whoever this person is like i was ready to end this for real but i know this is for somebody but you know sometimes it should be deep like it'd be just it just be a lot of information and it's just like oh my god like why 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 but you know what this happens in real life this is this is something that happens in real life it says betrayal here Okay, personality disorder, and it says betrayal, deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted here. It also says, that says slick bitch over here. Like, for real. This is somebody that you cannot trust. This is somebody that's unstable, and when they get unstable, they go have sex. Hey, that's, hey, it's people like that. Because I know, I know there's people that's looking at the reading, and they're like, oh my god, this is crazy. But then there's people that actually been through this before. Okay, and it's a real thing. You cannot trust this person like that. Look, I'm trying to tell you that this person, this person, whoever this is, they're selling sex, okay? It might not be the kind that you wait on the corner, but I'm telling you, this reading is for somebody here. They're very slick. You may have, you know, caught on to things. You may have seen certain things. You is something here where this person is involved with something sexual for money now hey do your thing but at the same time this is a situation where somebody does not know okay do your thing but be, be real about your shit you know what i'm saying this is somebody in a relationship that you don't know when they get mad and you don't want to give them money they go you know sell something for money like they go show something for money they go do something for money that has to do with online and sex okay and getting paid and they feel justified in this like if you don't give it to me i'm going to get it myself and i know how to get it and i'm going to do this and you made me do this hey 
that's what I'm seeing here. I usually don't even pull this many of these cards. I usually don't because it gets really messy. But hey, somebody really needs to know today. Red lipstick stains. Okay. It's like, you know how when somebody comes back or somebody comes, not just somebody, but your partner, they come in. But if you notice something on their clothes or you smell some type of perfume or you see some type of lipstick, it's like the energy of you know. Okay. So when I see red lipstick stains, I feel like there is an indication, like there is some type of indication where you're going to know that this is your story because somebody doesn't know that you know your partner does this and when you see this information it might not be red lipstick stain okay but it's going to be something where you be like hmm i didn't know you had that mm hmm i didn't know you did that or hmm what is that it's going to be something okay let me put these down before this damn board catches on fire let me get some of this astrology here Uh, uh I mean, do what you do, but be real about your shit. Like, if you're that type of person where you, that's what you want to do, you want to make your money, hey, do that. But this is something where you kind of got to... It's an unstable thing. It's like a like they're doing it out of anger. They're not even doing it for their own... Yeah. It's very hard to get into the mind of, you know, other people that... um you know, do these different things. And like I said, it's all good, but somebody has a personality disorder mixed with this. So it's it's not necessarily something that's just online. It could be something like they actually will go have sex with somebody just to get you back. But it's a it's a spiritual thing. It's like they don't have to tell you that they cheated. Just them going and cheating because you didn't give them something that they wanted makes them feel good about being in your face. It makes them feel like you're dumb because I just went and fucked somebody else and now I'm up in your face. And I'm... Some people are really, really like that, okay? Some people are like that. But this person, really, that's what they do. They get mad and they go betray you in some kind of way, okay? Maybe they have an ad up. Maybe they put an ad or they, they have some type of posting or something like that. Where, you know, it might not even be a situation where it, they do it a lot. It might be a situation where they posted this a while ago and they just keep it up. And when they get hits, they, you know, they take them. Or when they get mad, they take them. You get what I'm saying? Like, the sexual protection falls right under pay if you want to play. That's paying for sex, man. Like, I'm just saying, hey. I ain't judging, but it's right here. It's right here on the board. It's just that somebody really needs to be aware of this. It says fourth house. Roots here. Okay? This might even be somebody you live with. This is this might be somebody you got kids with. Man, when I tell you, you don't people don't know people's story. You never know what somebody been through. You never know what somebody's going through. You never know how deep it gets. But when I tell you when it's this fourth house, this is something that goes deep. This is to the roots here. It says fourth house roots here. Like this is something that like they they been had this issue. This was something that I don't know how they hit this. I mean, I know it says slick bitch here, but I, I don't know how they really hit this like this. Like this. But like I said, you just never know. Sometimes people be having double lives right there in your face and you would not know it. It says air element communicating here. Okay. So maybe they're going to communicate when they come home or you're going to communicate when y'all... It's going to be something here related to the fourth house. Like maybe somebody leaving. Maybe somebody has to leave or get out. There's going to be some type of communication at home. Okay. Or maybe this is talking about like the root of their personality um, or whatever they're going through. You know, the root of the problem here why they do what they do maybe that's what you're going to talk about whatever it is it has it relates to the roots it relates to home it relates to you know i was going to say like first base in something like the base even like base chakra it's the root the root of your personal soul 
okay? And maybe that's what's going to be exposed here or communicated here. It says Aries I am, okay? And this is the first sign of the zodiac. This is, you know, the head. This is the ram. You know, Aries sometimes can be very hard-headed energy and give you that, you know, I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. You know, give you that kind of energy here. Or they're just very headstrong or this is just that another indication of that personality disorder because, you know, that's a mental thing. You know, that's all in the brain, you know, and that's also the energy of Aries here. <sighs> Let me, um, I may get into this tarot because... What does the tarot want you to know here? Okay, it says mental conflict again. Somebody, this is not somebody that's, let's say, just a serial cheater. They actually have a, in, in, in medicine, they will call it a mental problem. But, you know, to be honest, this is a soul problem. This is something that's rooted in their soul and... This is that energy of like, let's say the 12th house, the things that we can't see that are blind spots to us, but they manifest here as quote unquote mental illness. You know, it manifests like that. Okay. It manifests in the body. We are a soul and whatever our soul came with, it manifests in our body. Okay. So it's something that's going on with this person that. You know, it could be some type of imbalance. It could be a, a numerous amount of things. I am not a doctor. But on a soul level here, this is something that they cannot help. Maybe if they got medication, it would help that. But on a soul level here, this is something that is like a trigger of their soul. It is it is part of their roots. It is something that in a past life, maybe they've had to deal with. Or maybe they've been through this. Okay? And sometimes it be so deeply rooted certain personality traits be so deeply rooted okay that it's you know it it says mental conflicts here and at the bottom it says trapped in fear they really cannot help this whoever this is that does this they get mad and they go have sex and they go get money for sex and then you know really you can't i hate to say it like this you can't get mad at this person you really have to just be mad at yourself um if you are just voluntarily staying in this situation, okay? If you're voluntarily staying in this and you do know what's going on, then that's, you know, of course, that's on you. But really, this person has a mental thing going on and they need help. And it's not your job. They need to go search out, like, professional help. You know, maybe this is just, you know, and like I said, I am not a doctor. There's a whole bunch of mental things, you know, mental diagnosis and all that. But maybe possibly this is something that maybe medication would clear up. But like I said, this is not your issue because number one, telling them that they may have a mental problem, that's probably not going to work in most situations. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you to do that. OK, this is something that they have to seek out. OK, but in the meantime, you can't be in a relationship with somebody that's unstable like that. It's not something that they can help. It's not something that they can control for some people. OK. For some people here. Oh, wait. I put that mental conflict card back. Let me get something else with this mental conflict. Okay, but this mental conflict came out here. Number one, to let you know that this is not something that they can help. They need their own personal help or to seek help. And number two, you need to figure out what you're going to do because you can't be in this mental conflict state. And I understand why you would be. Because you may not know that this is something that maybe this person cannot help. You may not know that this is even a problem. You may not even know. But if you are personally in this mental conflict, you know something. You know something. You know something ain't right. Okay? But just to say, it is not your, your problem or issue to tell somebody else to get help. It's, it's really not. Okay? I'm not going to take these because this is three out here. It says material harvest, which is the nine of pentacles. It's the sun card, which says light, and the seven of cups, which says choose wisely here. So somebody has, like I said, you need to make a choice here. 
you need to make a choice because I the Seven of Cups is kind of what we want to see. Seven of Cups is what we want to see, what we want it to be. Seven of Cups is also the energy of, you know, when you watch a movie or you see a music video, that magic that has been made, but you don't really see what it is. You just see what they created. It's that magic, you know, it's very elusive. You can't, you don't know the truth behind it. That's the Seven of Cups energy. It's not going to be necessarily what you want it to be. And you're being asked to make a choice here because somebody does know something, like I said, with this Sun card here. And this nine of pentacles here, this may be this may be something that they have seen multiple times. Or look, this is somebody that it has been exposed to them. And they do have a choice whether they're going to stay and work with this illness to even figure out that's a, that it's an illness. Or you got to figure out what you want to do. But this is somebody that, you know, is like unstable. And I understand that it's hard to leave somebody. You know, I understand mental illness and all that. But if you're talking about a relationship where it's a loving relationship, it's a healing relationship, it's something beneficial for both people, like, you know, a, the scales are balanced, this is not it. This is not it. And that's just me being honest, regardless of I'm taking emotion completely out of this because spirit doesn't care about emotion. Spirit is not concerned with how things look. Spirit is concerned with results. Okay? Spirit is concerned with energy. And the truth of the matter is this is not an equally yoked relationship. It's not a it's not balanced. Okay? It's somebody that just really can't help it and somebody that may be dealing with it. Possibly you do know that this person can't help it. Possibly you do know that this is mental illness. But there's some people that don't. There's some people that have never been with somebody with a mental illness. And they don't know what it looks like when they see it. You know? And I'm not saying that, you know, you should know what it looks like. Because that's why we have professional doctors for that. I understand that. But this is not okay. This is not okay for nobody's heart. Like, for somebody to be dealing with this or seeing this or witnessing this. Or... Having this being exposed and you're shocked and you're just like, what the hell? Who was I with the whole time? You know, hey. Let me get something else out here. Wow, emotional loss here. Okay, five of cups energy. Five of cups energy. This is a very, this is, it's not easy to leave this behind. I really understand. I really understand. And I know somebody will probably feel guilty. They probably, you know, would feel like they have to deal with this. You know, is this more really right? And to be honest, everybody has their own path. Everybody has their own things that they're going through. And it is no one's obligation to walk your path with you. And that's the truth of the matter. It is nobody's obligation, okay? Especially when this person is hurting you. Especially when this person is lying to you and doing things behind your back. That's a whole different ball game. That's a whole different ball game. It's not a matter of, oh, you know, somebody has a mental problem, oh, you leave them. That's not what I'm saying. But when somebody is literally abusing the relationship and abusing the respect and the trust and the loyalty and all of that, that's unacceptable. No matter if you have a mental condition, a mental illness, that's unacceptable. You, you shouldn't be with nobody because that's, you're just, you're just being in a relationship to hurt somebody. And that's not fair. So whoever this is, you shouldn't feel guilty. You shouldn't feel guilty at all. Okay? It is not your fault what they have in their soul and what they've had to deal with even in past lives. That's not, that's not your fault here. Okay? This is the seven of pentacles here. Okay? 
it really feels to me that somebody has built something and they haven't seen the they haven't seen the results like you know being in a relationship for many years and it just never gets nowhere that's what i'm seeing for somebody here and this reading is to confirm you know what your conflict is as far as you don't know whether to stay whether to go you need to go for your health and your mental stability Y'all just need to separate. You just need to separate. This is not going to bring you any happiness. This is not going to bring the loyalty that you deserve. You know? And it is very bittersweet. It is very sad. You know? But this is something that they have to... They have to go through it. They have to pursue the help that they need. Because in the meantime... It's not fair for them to be cheating, for them to be dishonest, for them to be being slick about it, okay? It's not fair. So they need the time that they need to be alone to figure that out, okay? But I'm gonna leave the reading right there. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your like, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it. Because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.